Today in math, we're going to continue to show parts of 10. So yesterday we practiced with the bugs and the hen that I drew. We practiced with the numbers seven and three, and then we used cubes tomorrow. Um, I guess next Tuesday, you'll be using cubes again to break up 10. Now today we're going to be writing an equation using a 10 frame. You can use your cubes if you want, but I would prefer if you got your flippy chips out because the flippy chips are how we're going to fill in our 10 frame today. So let's go over our DLO, our daily learning objective. Today I will write equations to show parts of 10. Now it's your turn. Today I will write equations to show parts of 10. I have a 10 frame here. In a 10 frame, how many windows are there? 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten windows in a ten frame. So I know that when I see the number ten in a ten frame, every window is going to be filled up. So I've got my flippy chips today with my red and yellow. You will be making your own parts of ten however you want, just like yesterday, which is kind of nice when you have the option of making it however you want. When we have a number, and you're going to either decompose it or break it apart, there's always one more way than the number it is. So if it's the number 10, there are 11 ways to make 10. When we have 10, when our equation is backwards like this, where the, the number, the sum is first, then an equals, and then broke apart, it's called decomposing. Say decompose. What does decompose mean? Break apart. So we're going to break apart 10 and show it in a few different ways. I'm going to use my flippy chips. I'm going to put all of them down red and then I'll flip them. So if I put all of them down red, I just want to make sure I have 10 on my board here. Because every window will be covered in a 10 frame when we make 10. I'm going to flip around. Let's see, in your book it starts with yellow, so I better flip these ones over first. We'll start with yellow just like the way your book is. I broke part 10 to show parts of it, two parts. I have my yellow part and my red part. I'm going to fill in my blanks down here with how many of each that we have. How many yellow do I have in that first part? Let's count. One, two, three. So I'll put the number three here because 10 equals the two different parts. The first part is three. My next part, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 10 equals three plus seven. So yesterday we had, it would have been written like this, three and seven. And in the sight word song, and that we used to sing a long time ago, and brings things together like rain and cloudy weather, but it brings things together. Three and seven together makes 10. So yesterday we wrote the words, now we're writing it in an equation. So when we hear the word and, it's referring to plus. Racy, racy, racy. So I showed a group of three, I showed a group of seven on my 10 frames with two different colors. And then I wrote a decomposing equation to show both parts of 10. 10 equals three plus seven. Now let's do a new one. I'm just going to keep all of my magnets on here because if we're making 10, every window will be covered. Let's do this one. I'll start with my yellows. I have two groups, two parts, I should say, because it says parts in our DLO. I have two parts to make 10. Let's count up the parts we have first. Just like when we read and write, we start at the top on the left. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six yellow, so I'll write that first because that's the first blank, plus how many more? One, two, three, four. I should write it so you can see me. There we go. 
down, over, down some more. That's a little better. It's kind of ugly, but that's better. My first part is six. My last part is four. I had six at the beginning, and then the rest of the 10 frame is four. Let's make another one. If I were to read this equation, a decomposing equation, it would say 10 equals six plus four. And when we have you guys, when we assess you next week, you will have to decompose it however you want. So practice breaking apart. So tomorrow will be a little bit easier because we'll have our cubes. But if you think using the 10 frame is easier, then this is one way you could show us. But we'll probably use the cubes because it's, oh, why am I taking them off? Because it's so much easier. Let's do another way to make 10. We're going to show parts of 10. Let's try this one. I have one part that's yellow, one part that's red. Let's count up my yellow ones first because the yellow ones are starting in that number one box. How many yellows do I have in the first part? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10 equals eight, a group of eight, plus how many more? One, two. 10 can equal a group of eight and a group of two. 10 equals eight plus two. I have eight yellow and two red. Easy, let's erase. Let me show you another way you could do it. One of the ways we have not practiced this week is this way. Hope I can't trick you. Did I trick you? What are the two groups here? We'll start with yellow because yellow was our first number that we've been working with. How many yellow are they? I don't need to count them because it's a 10 frame. There's 10 windows. If all the windows are full, then the number is 10. But I'll count them for some of you that might not know that yet. 10 windows, let's count them up. Excuse me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. How many yellow do I have? 10. Plus, how many red do I have? Zero. I thought I could trick you there. There are no reds, so it would be 10 plus zero. I could trick you. Probably didn't trick very many of you, but that would be two groups because zero, even though it's nothing, that's still a group. It's still one way to make 10. 10 equals 10 plus zero. Let's do one more option. One more way you can make 10 and then it'll be your turn. Don't think we did this one. Okay, let's count. How many yellow do we have? That'll be our first group. How many red? That'll be our last group. Let's count up our yellows. One, two, three, four. I have four yellow plus how many red? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six is my second group, so six will be my second number. I have a group of four and I have a group of six. Together they make 10. So to decompose 10, it would be 10 equals four plus six. One, two, three, four, and then six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now it will be your turn to decompose and show parts to make 10 any way you want. There's 11 different ways to do it. Pick the way you want. Make sure that yellow is your first color because that's what the book is asking you. So just follow their pattern. And now it's your turn.